Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm super excited because we're making a healthy brownie, but it's not just any healthy brownie because there is a secret hidden vegetable ingredient in it. And don't worry, it is so incredibly delicious and fudgy. You won't guess that there's no flour, no sugar. It's completely sugar free and it's also vegan as well. So make sure you keep watching if you want to know what this secret crazy ingredient is. So for our crazy brownie recipe, you are going to need a super powerful blender. So I've got my Ninja here. And I'm basically just gonna blend up the wet ingredients until they're super, super smooth. Cause we do not wanna know what our crazy ingredient is. We don't wanna taste our crazy ingredient, trust me. So I have got some almond milk. You can use any plant-based milk you like. And I've soaked three tablespoons of ground flaxseed into it for at least five minutes. Or you can do it overnight if you wish, but this basically acts like a vegan egg and also adds moisture to the recipe if you're not vegan you can also use three eggs and skip the soaking part but today we are using flaxseed to add our choice of healthy fats so you can either use coconut oil but today I'm using vegan butter which is made from like almond oil shea butter it's so good I just get it from my local supermarket and make sure it's melted as well now I've got half a cup of apple puree, so you can make this yourself super easily just by boiling some peeled apples together and blending it. Or you can also use banana, but just keep in mind that it will taste like banana. So I'm using apple puree because it's a lot more milder tasting. You can't really taste it at all. So this is going to add a lot of moisture without the fat or the calories. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract to make sure it's the pure stuff. And now it's time to reveal our crazy secret ingredients. So if you haven't guessed it already, it is kale. So don't be alarmed. Like I know that it's kind of scary and it's not the best tasting vegetable, but it is really super healthy and it is going to bulk up the recipe a lot without, again, the calories. So make sure that you've washed and dried it thoroughly and then also just chopped it. Especially if your blender isn't powerful, make sure you chop it quite finely because we do not want to taste any of this because this will scare the people off. <laughs> so yeah. So I've got three whole cups of kale here and you can also use spinach as well. That actually blends up a lot more better and smoother, but today I've got kale. So we add that into our blender. And then we make sure that we blend this super, super fine. It's gonna take about five minutes. Now that our liquid ingredients are super smooth and you can't see any bits of kale in it, and the only thing that's giving it away is this bright green color, we are going to just simply add in our dry ingredients. So I've got some coconut flour here, which is super high in protein, high in fiber, and it's also gluten free as well. So I'll just add that in. Some cocoa powder or raw cacao powder, which is super high in antioxidants. For our sweetener, so you can use a stevia baking blend or a monk fruit sweetener, and that's what I'm using today. That has a really similar taste to brown sugar, so it's gonna add like a nice depth and a nice caramelly flavor. You can of course also use real sugar if you want to, or coconut sugar if you want an unrefined sugar. That will also be really nice. And then I've just got some baking soda to help make everything rise and nice and fluffy, and also some pink Himalayan salt. And then just blitz that all up until the batter is nice and thick. And then finally, for the best part, we're going to add some dark chocolate chips. I'm using this really nice sugar-free brand. So I just add that in. I'm adding about half a cup, but you can add more if you want it extra chocolatey. Also, the batter tastes totally amazing and nothing like kale, trust me. The best thing about vegan batter is that you can eat the batter and taste it and adjust it to your flavorings because there's no eggs in it, so you don't have to worry. Just making sure to scoop up every bit of the goodness. 
So I've just pulled out our healthy kale brownie from the oven and it smells so good, nothing like kale. And last time I tested my healthy cheesecake secretly made with cauliflower, which I'll link here on my girlfriends. And I feel like that was so well received. They loved it and they couldn't taste the cauliflower. But I feel like girls can tolerate a kind of healthy treat a lot more. Like the cheesecake tasted amazing, but it definitely didn't taste like traditional cheesecake. And I feel like they love healthy goodies a lot more than guys who are much more picky when it comes to treats. So I thought I'd take you along with me and we can go and visit a couple of my guy friends with the brownie and hopefully they can taste it and they'll love it. I hope <laughs> and I'll get them to guess what's in it and see if they can guess that there's kale in these brownies so make sure you keep watching okay I look a bit happier <laughs> show me myself show me me oh god hey guys I'm Luke <laughs> hey I'm Steve <laughs> who would have thought hi my name's Julian Haig I'm into fitness and eating healthy I love brownies I don't like healthy foods we're gonna try some uh, delicious vegan so Luke's vegan, but um, Steve isn't oh, vegan, no, but, but you're into like healthy say, eating. I love healthy eating. Just because you're not vegan yeah. doesn't mean you can't enjoy some good vegan food. Why not? Tell you what, just got to get that <laughs> that Nourish 5. Woo! Nourish in 5. No, that's what I said. Nourish in 5. Tell you what, it's it's the top, top shelf stuff. And uh, you only need 5. So, it's the best. Well, it looks pretty uh, moist. How Damn. moist is that? Moist. Quite moist. It's very moist. I'm not allowed to say moist. Mildly moist. Am I allowed to say moist? Moist. <laughs> oh my god. Shit, that's good. It's kind of soft. It's amazing. Chocolatey. It tastes like an orgasm in my mouth. Okay. Cheers. How yeah. good's the texture? That's actually bloody yum. That's really, really delicious. I'm just saying that. Mmm. This tastes. Oh. Oh my god, this tastes so naughty. <laughs> oh man. Seriously? Thank you. This is delicious. Mm. It's not the best thing. <laughs> Jesus, how do you manage to make food taste so good? I feel like it's a good thing there was only one of them because if there was more, <laughs> I'd be eating them all. It actually tastes like chocolate heavy. Just like... Does it taste vegan? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not even close. No. No, it tastes really good. It tastes just like a normal brownie. Is this vegan? I can't talk about it, I just want to eat it. Don't <laughs> so yummy. Last oh. time I had a non-vegan brownie was years and years ago. Like, Mine was two hours ago. This is way better. Oh, yeah. Now you have to guess what secret ingredients in it. I'm not huge on baking though, so I'm not going to be great in this. I'm guessing flour, oh, I'm sugar. Not huge on baking is not cookbook. I see. <laughs> There's no sugar in this. There's no sugar. Oh, this has to be pretty full of sugar, right? Okay. No, it's actually quite. It's like healthy. Oh. Better eat that. I will. So this is this is healthy for you. Honestly, you wouldn't believe it. Is it sugar free? Yes. Yeah. What? Is it sugar free? Is, can we do a second it take? Bring on more brownies. I don't think we nailed this. Can we do like one more? You just put fresh all the time. No more. I know. <laughs> what do you think of that brownie? If all vegan food would taste like that, I'd go vegan. I'd it's join great. you. That's a win. It's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. <laughs> this is made out of vegetables? Mm -hmm. Vegetable? What? It's got veggies, veggies in it. How the hell do you make vegetables taste like this? I know the games you play. It's like rhubarb, mm. maple syrup, mm. is cocoa and vegetable. Mm. No. Wait, what's the one that you like grate? Cheese. <laughs> no. Greens. Oh, zucchini. Mm. Broccoli. Not broccoli. Mm. Cucumber. Not. Mm. Courgette. Mm. Gherkin. Does it taste like vegetables? No, you no, can't taste well, any That's vegetables. why we're confused. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> Potato. Mm. All I can think of is chocolate. I got a little bit left. Vegetable. Get that vegetable in me. Get it in. Oh. Eggplant. It's like eggplant. No, it doesn't taste like any vegetable. This is a genetically modified vegetable that looks and tastes exactly like a delicious brownie. So what's the second what's vegetable? Kale. It's kale. kale. What? <laughs> this is a salad? How the hell do you do that? Yes. What? I'm truly shocked. Now you're like, get out of here. Alright. <laughs> no. No. I don't believe you. Damn. Man, I'd steal the recipe. Wow! Kale in here? Yes. You're joking. How much kale is in this? Like one percent kale? What? What did you do to the kale? You sure you didn't bake it in what? maple syrup? <laughs> that's fantastic. That's mouth watering. That's, that's cool. Cool. That's a big surprise. Big. Okay, that's done. Can I just be genuine with you? That was fucking sensational. <laughs> that was really. Um, that I was, hope you got that, that on bloody camera. That was, that was fucking unbelievable. Yeah, that Man, you just you 
going to be a star, you know. This is way better than a kale smoothie. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you try this brownie recipe at home and you're not scared to throw a little bit of kale or spinach in there. As you can see from all the picky guys that I taste tested this recipe on, none of them could tell that there was vegetables secretly hidden in the brownie. So let me know if you do try it on your family or your friends, especially if they're not health nuts and they're not kind of used to healthy treats. Like I think it'll be a really fun way to get them to test and see if they can guess what's in it. If you did like this recipe, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more recipes like this. Thanks again. Bye. How? A kale around? You guys, you need to taste this. Kale brownie. It's amazing. Thank you.